there was your name on it. And when I first saw it, I thought, Joe Davis? Who the fuck is Joe Davis? <laughs> And it's you. Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint and welcome back to a little bit more of Downfall. At the end of last episode, I asked you guys, well, what do you want Joe Davis to do? Because we just suddenly got a bunch of options as to what the hell we can do. We could either go poison Sophie, we could go blow up fat Sophie maybe, or we could go return to the brain we just found to Dr. Z. I read through a bunch of the comments and I think what makes the most sense, based on what you guys were saying, was to return the brain first. And the reason why we should return the brain first is there's actually a good reason for it. The reason why we should return the brain first is because a brain ain't gonna last forever on some ice, so you better get that thing to Dr. Z while it's still fresh, assuming it's fresh. So let's go to the second floor, room 207 I think, and see if we can go deliver a nice fresh brain to Dr. Z. Hello, Dr. Z. I got some fresh brains for you. Ah, I see you have it. This guy. Quick, give it to me. Give it to me, boy. Oh, I'll give it to you, boy. <laughs> Okay, so brain, here you go, buddy. Is this what you wanted? S let me stuff it One in your elbow. One fresh human brain. Ew. What else could I want? Um, cookies. Yes. Now we have a chance. Eradicate the bad, restore the good. Bad or what? What's left of it anyway? Like bad? What does that mean? Um, so shut up and do it already. You can't just plant a dead brain inside of her head, right? Like that's how is this brain even fresh? That that body down in the basement look like it's been there for a while. Fingers crossed, Doc. Fingers crossed, Doc. <laughs> this has nothing to do with luck, mind you. Sorry. I am certain my calculations were correct. Now it's just a matter of following a correct procedure. But since my nurses took their leave all at once, I will require your assistance. <laughs> Excuse me. This cavity here. Hold it open for me whilst I lower the brain into place. No effing way. Oh god, am I just gonna like hold her head open or something? Put some elbow grease into it, boy. <laughs> what? That's better. And a little push. Oh. I hope she doesn't mm, wake maybe up. Maybe this way. Oh god. It's okay, it's just the bowl. We can clean it up later. Almost got it. I would love to see what's just going on right now. Bit more. God. It's in! We've oh. done it, boy! That's what she said. <laughs> this game. One thing I didn't mention last time, because I didn't really notice it, is if you, like, see the flashing, it's super obvious when you watch a YouTube video, but when, like, if I first came in here, I didn't see it. Like, there's, like, skeletal stuff flashing in the background, like x-rays, like ribs and hands and teeth. Ew. I wonder why and where it's coming from. So this is how you do brain transplants. Um... I'm beginning to wish I'd never met you. Okay, let's do the first so one. This is how you do brain transplants. It's so easy. I'm surprised people don't do it more. <laughs> hmm. Now that everything is ready, it is time. Is this like a Frankenstein project? For the machine. Oh, God. The machine? Is it lightning? Yes. We will need to kick some life into this young lady. Is it a lightning machine? She's still very much dead. Have you forgotten? Um. Uh, uh, no. I haven't forgotten. Good, because we have no more brains to spare, boy. Boy? I'll let you do the honors. Of, of what? There's a what? lever on the side of that chair over there. Oh. Can you see it? Just walk over to the right. Okay. I've run the wires from the chair to the body on the table. Right. Less heavy lifting. See? Good. Safer for our spines. That's cool now, the lever. What about it? What does it do? Pull it and we shall see. Oh, God. So, it is kind of like a lightning machine that we need to use here. This is going to be so wicked. You guys wanted this first. Okay, well, let's let's start up the electric chair here. Um, I'm so sorry, whoever this is that I'm about to pull this on. No? Oh, he's backing away from it. Is he wearing shorts? Excuse me? This game is so weird. Oh, that was that was kind of anti anticlimactic. You seem pretty content. I don't understand. Hmm? Have we run out of power? Maybe she's dead. Hmm, it's probably just a fuse. I'd better go and investigate it myself. Oh, so yeah. Me and Agnes are just going to hang out here. Great. Great. 
And yeah, right? What am I supposed to do? Of course it didn't work. You're a madman. Don't strain your spine while you investigate your stupid views. <laughs> and what am I supposed to do? Sit in the chair? No. Sit in the old Sparky? That's a terrible idea. Yeah, you're right, Joe. So what about you, huh? We're not going to talk about what just happened here? Not even going to mention it. We're just gonna go straight on to Sophie, I guess, because there ain't nothing left to do here. It seems Hello? like- Where? What is- Hello? Excuse me? No effing way. So creepy. So eerie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Stop. Whoever you are, don't come any closer. Okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Thank you, and I'm so very glad that you said that, but... But that's not the only problem here. Yeah, your head's probably I open. I woke up, I'm butt naked, and I'm really freaking cold. <laughs> I need some clothes, man. Huh? I'm not coming out until you get me something to wear. Girl? Oh, she's just kind of like laying on the ground? Bring me some clothes. Um. I don't want to sit here all day. Yep, Joe has probably completely lost it. I don't even know what to say to that. Where do I find clothes? I mean, I guess there's a lot of suitcases around. Maybe one of these suitcases will have some clothes in it. I don't know if this... I don't know what's real, honestly, about this hotel. I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to think. All that I do know is that it seems a little freaking odd that this girl just woke up and she is... Apparently not like drowsy at all. No, none of the like, uh, uh, like she just you know woke up from the dead or something like that. No, she just right back at him and kicking. So I'm gonna go try to find some clothes. I guess I don't think the suitcases have anything for me. So maybe I can try to steal some of Ivy's clothes and get this girl back in action. Okay, so I looked in 101 and there weren't any clothes in there. But seeing as how we are right next to Sophie. Let's go ahead and see if we can move on with this poisoning. Oh god, I just really just, just I just don't I top top do uh, Fine! Uh can I talk first? Talk. Let's just talk. I should oh fine. Let's just give her the poison. Oh god. The syringe. Is this what you want? I chose the blue poison. So, but will it hurt? Horribly. You'll- you'll start to die, you'll start having these death convulsions, and your body will start freaking out because your whole body's starting to stop. It is going to hurt so bad. Um, I don't really know. I hope not. I don't really know. I hope not. I sh I wish there was a yes, it's you gonna suck so know. bad. Are you sure it's- Are you even sure it's gonna kill me? Nope! I ain't got a freaking clue. There was poison written on the bottle, and there's a picture of a skull. There's only one way to find out! There's only one way to find out. Yeah, and that's me being the guinea pig. You asked for this! Thanks, Joe. No problem, Sophie. Look, I brought you the damn thing. <laughs> Take it or leave it. Please leave it. Do I have any choice? Yes! Yes! Can you, at least? What? Take that needle and stick it in my arm. I don't... I can't do it myself. No. Ooh. Please. I'm begging you. Oh. Give injection, refuse. Oh, God. What is this choice going to mean, man? I kind of want to refuse and then make her do it herself. Yeah. No. I don't want your blood on my hands. But, Joe. What? You are already covered in it. Excuse me? To toes. I said no. Fine. What did, what did that mean? I'll do it myself. Good. Perhaps I should. You should. You definitely should. Good I don't work, want to do this. Joe Davis. For what it's worth. I hope you find your ivy. <laughs> I think I picked the right one, guys. 
Interesting, so the mirror broke a little bit when that happened. Your head went boom! A dress. I can take the dress. Oh! I can give this dress to the girl, to the Agnes girl. You just lost your face! I mean, it's all over the room! Oh my god! This game just never stops being weird. I love it so much. I never know what to expect and it's all so good. I mean, I, I, I maybe I'm kind of weird for saying a girl's head exploding was good, but oh my god, that was just so wicked. Okay, so now that we got some clothing, let's go deliver what we just did to Agnes. Because that girl really just needs to cover up her titties. So, 207, let's enter, deliver the dress, maybe we get to see her. She's probably not too pretty anymore after whatever the hell Dr. Z was doing to her. She's got a nice voice though, so I like that about her. Here, take this bring dress. Bring some clothes. I did bring you I some clothes. I don't sit here all day. You, you're... Get, there, dress. There, use. Here you go, girl. I could wear it. Excuse me? Here. Put this on. Just pull it out of my ass. Wow. Is that like a wedding dress almost? Really? Really, really donkey. A uh, wedding dress? It is a wedding dress. Um, yeah, you'll be the bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> yep. You'll be the bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah? And why's that? Oh. Come on. A zombie in a wedding dress. She doesn't know this she's perfect. She doesn't know that, does she? First of all, I'm nobody's bride, okay? And... Secondly, watch who you're calling a zombie. Right? He isn't. Because I ain't no freaking zombie, all right? Yeah. Are you a zombie? Uh. Would you like me to call you a zombie? Uh. Hi. Well, it's too late now. Don't bother with apologies. But, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Go over there for a second and I'll put this thing on. Okay. I'm just going to go over here for a second. Okay. Yeah. There's blood on it. <laughs> Be honest with me. Um. Did you butcher somebody's wife to be to get this dress? Um. Uh. Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> you can't kinda butcher somebody. <laughs> what are you? An expert at butchering? <laughs> right. No. A normal sane person? Ha! Did that fool you? So. <laughs> Oh, wow. How do I look? You look a lot better than I was expecting. You're right, you look awful. You look very nice. Different than I expected, that's for sure. Beautiful. Like a zombie in a wedding dress, like a gypsy princess. You really remind me of somebody I used to know. Good, yeah, you look good. Oh my god, there's so many. I'm disappointed. I'll go reanimate someone else now. Ha ha ha! Might use that one. So, I guess... This is Agnes, but she probably doesn't think she's Agnes, does she? Because if we said a brain transplant, she probably thinks she's whoever that person was at the bottom of the cellar, right? Or the trap door. I'm disappointed. I'll go reanimate somebody else now. <laughs> well, tough luck, Mr. Fussy. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find lots of pretty dead girls just lying around waiting for you. But for now, you're kind of stuck with me, I'm afraid. Is that all right? Is it that much of an inconvenience? You might not have the looks, but at least you've got the brains. Somebody's brain. And how do you know? I put it inside your head with my own hands. <laughs> Don't be disgusting. I did. Whatever. Fine. You want to know how you look? Yes, but no sugarcoating. You look. I mean, she does look pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. You look very nice. You look very nice. Ah. Thank you. It's not really my color, and it's a bit tight around the waist. But I guess you can't afford to be picky when you wake up covered in blood in a strange room with no recollection of who you are. How do you not remember who you are? So, yeah, like, I would like to hear what you think your name is. Do you at least remember your name? Why? Do you not know it? Um... I figured we were friends. But now that you've asked, you could be anyone, really. Yeah. A deranged psychopath, for all I know. Definitely. Wait. Maybe I do know your name. Let me think. Uh, uh, Gladys, or Phyllis, or Martha, or Dorothy, or 
Agnes? Your name isn't Agnes. Is it? Okay, guys in the chat. If there was a brain transplant... Which person are you? Are you the body or are you the brain? Like, let's say... Let's say you put Casey's brain in my body and I woke back up. Am I Casey? Or am I Swing Point? I don't even know, honestly. That is such a hard question. Huh. I really don't know. I didn't care enough to remember it? Oh god, but I, I really- I don't know. No. I don't know. Sorry. But you're not a bad guy, are you? I hope not. You're not carrying any knives on you? Don't worry. A machete? I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> but I have a lot going on. So please, don't make me guess and just tell me your name. All right. It's Agnes. It is Ag- Hmm. And please, if you do decide to turn evil, just give me enough warning to start running away screaming, okay? Ditto. But- why do you think you're Agnes? Shouldn't you think you're whoever you were when you were laying dead on the table? You're like, you're, those are two different people. I mean, I guess they both could have been Agnes, but... How'd you die? How did you... die? I can't remember, or don't want to. It's probably one of the two, but it could be both, of, or neither. Of. Please don't be crazy like everyone else around here. <laughs> I'm not! I'm a nice, happy person. I just haven't decided if I trust you enough yet. Uh, so what are you gonna do? What are you going to do? I think I'm gonna tag along. This room gives me the creeps. There are worse out there. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. But, you won't let anything happen to me, right? Uh, um, I'll try. <laughs> and what if I'm the big bad wolf? And what if I am the big bad wolf? Then I guess you'll find that I'm the kind of girl who builds her houses out of bricks. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Joe Davis, by the way. My name is Joe Davis, by the way. Oh. These two like each other. So you are Joe Davis. Excuse me? Of course. Now it all makes sense. It does? I'm supposed to give you a message. A note. There was your name on it. And when I first saw it, I thought, Joe Davis? Who the fuck is Joe Davis? <laughs> and it's you. A letter? Where did you Who find the it? Fuck names I held it all scrunched up inside my hand when I <laughs> came alive. No clothes, none of my stuff. That was the only thing I had on me. So I figured it must be important. You still got it? No, I ate it. <laughs> of course I've still got it. But since this dress doesn't have any pockets, I hid it in here. Oh, yeah? Oh. Okay. You gonna pull it out of there? Can you turn around for a moment? I'll get it out. Sure. The note. I'll get the note out. Yeah? Uh, um. Is that okay? <laughs> Too close. Too close. Just walk further away and give me a minute, okay? No problem. Pull it out of your titties. Is that better? Oh, not quite. There we go. Whoa! Not you again! Um, Agnes? Run! Run! Uh, 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 castor oil? Use! Nope. Okay, I, uh, okay, I'm just gonna pack up for a little bit. Agnes? Agnes, that is not running. Sit. Oh, Agnes. Oh my God, she's totally gonna die. Holy Agnes. Agna, Agna, Agna. How about, how about, do I, I'm, up, uh, up. Uh, I just gotta take it, don't I? Oh God. Did that work? I don't know if that worked. Oh God. Agnes, son of a bitch. Did I mess up? Continue as Joe? Continue as Agnes? What? Meow. 